So what is surveillance capitalism? So it has long been understood that capitalism evolves by taking things that live outside the marketplace and bringing them into the market so that they can be sold and bought. For example, the idea of uh, nature. With industrial capitalism, nature was dragged into the marketplace and reborn as real estate, land that could be bought and sold. Mm, historians have written about the way in which human activity itself, the kinds of things that people did in their homes, in their cottages, in their back gardens, those activities were brought into the marketplace and reborn as labor, labor that could be assigned an hourly wage bought and sold in the marketplace. In an interesting way, surveillance capitalism follows in this tradition. And I say interesting because there are other ways in which surveillance capitalism sharply diverges from um, the norms and principles of capitalism over the centuries. But in this respect, it mirrors this history in that surveillance capitalism has claimed something from outside the market and brought it into the market to sell and buy. But in this case, the territory that it has claimed is private human experience. Private human experience has been claimed for the marketplace to be sold and purchased as behavioral data. And more specifically, the way this works is that our experience is claimed unilaterally for the taking. Our experience is rendered as behavioral data by the takers. Those behavioral data are then combined with very sophisticated machine intelligence capabilities. The outcome of the computation and behavioral data, the outcome is what I call a prediction product. These are computational predictions of what we will do now, soon, and later. Those predictions are then sold into a new kind of marketplace. What is this marketplace trading in? It's trading in bets on our future behavior. I call it a behavioral futures marketplace. So these prediction products are like futures derivatives but in this case, they're derivatives of our behavior. So the bottom line, friends, is that our futures are being sold and bought in a new kind of behavioral marketplace. <laughs>